In these days of heavy government spending, it might be refreshing to reminisce about a time when somebody once saved our government some $620,000. To begin the story, however, we'll have to go back some 20 years in time and further become a bit bromidic for a moment as we repeat that old saw to the effect that a United States Marine can do anything. That's a pretty broad statement, we must admit, and it does take in quite a bit of territory, but it's pretty close to the truth. Take the Quantico, Virginia Leathernecks back in 1922, for example. They wanted an athletic stadium on the base, and they finally got it. But it wasn't easy. The lowest bid they could get from a private contractor was $625,000. That's too much. We'll build it ourselves, they said, as though building athletic stadiums was a routine leatherneck assignment, but they did it. For weeks, every available man spent every available hour working along the Potomac River. They operated a specially rigged, though ancient dredge to get sand and gravel. They moved 168,000 cubic yards of earth. They built a retaining wall of sandstone, which they dug from their own quarry, and then when the job was done, they totaled up the bills and found that the stadium had cost them $5,000, which subtracted from $625,000 left them and Uncle Sam a savings of $620,000. Talk about resourcefulness. Yes, the United States Marines have tackled almost every conceivable assignment during the 243 years since they've been with us, and they've never failed yet. Men and women from 70 to 28 are invited to join this world-famous organization to share the pride and the traditions which are part of the heritage of every Marine. And yes, there have been women Marines since 1918. And when the 17th Commandant of the United States Marine Corps, Thomas Holcomb, was asked what they should be nicknamed, he famously said, they are Marines. They don't have a nickname, and they don't need one. They get their basic training in a marine atmosphere at a marine post. They inherit the traditions of marines. They are marines. So if you can measure up to the highest standards of this elite corps, why not visit your local recruiting office and join the marines today? The Marines, of course, are but part of the formidable team that constitutes America's armed forces. And so we think it's particularly fitting to present a march whose title symbolizes the spirit of the Americans who fought and are fighting to ensure the preservation of the liberties that our forefathers won for us at Bunker Hill, Valley Forge, and Yorktown, the Defenders of Freedom. <laughs> 